hi manishka welcome to my channel so this video is again going to be a part of a series where i'm going to talk about my third year of medical school in ukraine and right now i like recently i was making the video for the third year in the usual way i make those videos i wasn't i didn't like that way i hope those videos were not boring for you but fun fact was that i felt bored while editing the video for the third year i didn't even want to edit that video so like i had that video for like almost five days and i didn't even edit it completely i thought of a different way of passing on the information and i have tried that in this video so i hope you like it and please let me know if you like this way and if you think that there are some improvements needs to be done then please let me know i am just a beginner and i am still learning i am really really very excited and i would really like to try something else as well so please let me know so let's begin for third year students in ukraine the most important thing is the crack examination when you are doing mbbs in ukraine you have to pass two crocks crock 1 in third year and crock 2 in sixth year If you do not prepare well for the examination, there are chances that you will have to repeat the examination, and sometimes you may even have to repeat the third year again in Ukraine. When I was in third year, the Ukrainians brought another examination, which is named as I form, and they made it mandatory for the third year students to give the examination in order to pass. But right now, as far as I have heard, I form is not mandatory, and it's like your choice if you want to give it or not. but crock 1 is definitely mandatory and you need that to pass to the fourth year crock 1 what is it crock 1 is a licensing examination which you are required to give at the end of the third year and it tests your knowledge based on the preclinical subjects which you have studied in the first second and third year crock 1 is an examination on a national level meaning that all the students of the ukraine studying in the third year which are from like english speaking student they all give the examination on the same day in the whole ukraine crock 1 is held in three languages russian ukrainian and english since foreigner students study in english language for first second and third year they give the examination in the english language In Crock One, you are tested on your knowledge in nine preclinical subjects, which you have studied in first, second, and third years. The subjects are anatomy, biology, biochemistry, histology, cytology, and embryology together. Then we have then we have physiology. microbiology virology and immunology all together pharmacology subjects from the third year are microbiology virology immunology pharmacology path anatomy path physiology and the most questions comes from these five subjects which are path physiology path anatomy pharmacology microviro immunology and physiology path anatomy is also known as path morphology also in some places before the examination in 2019 there used to be 200 mcq questions in the question paper and each question contained one mark but in 2019 for the first time students had 180 questions and like we are not sure how much marks each question contain but the passing percentage has always been same it is 60.5 meaning if you do not score a minimum of 60.5 percentage in the examination you will have to repeat the examination so when i was in third year in 2019 when i gave the examination we got two attempts and if you do not pass that then you will have to repeat the year again i recommend that you check all the updates regarding crock 1 or crock 2 on the official website which is testcenter.org you should always check updates on the official website rather than confirming on some unreliable sources 
studying for the examination is not so much difficult you can have a lot of resources for example you can find the previous year question papers as well as booklets from maybe some of your teachers or your seniors or there are a lot of other people who also like sell you these papers so you can get these papers from them you can study whichever way you like you can have the papers printed and have them in a hard copy or you can study on the like phone or laptop wherever you like like me so i will recommend there's a website which is called eneutron.info this is a free website you do not need to make an account in order to use the website you will find the previous year papers and booklets from a lot of years and you can practice those questions online this website works in offline mode as well so you need not have internet connection after you've started your question paper but do not refresh on the website because if you have refreshed then all your data will be lost and you will have to start the examination again yes there are some incorrect questions but the more you will practice the more you will know which are the incorrect questions and there are just like three or four incorrect questions as far as i know well about preparation i have tried to put together all the points that helped me while i was preparing for the examination so i hope they are helpful to you as well so my first point is that try and understand the question for like i am a person who cannot cram things well like mujhe ratta mana nahi aata so i used to read a question a lot of times and try and understand what the question is saying and search the difficult terms on the internet and try and reach the answer from the question itself most of my third year i have either spent in libraries or cafes or outside lecture halls sometimes with my friends and i will say those have been wonderful times when i have been studying outside my room because i did not feel like studying in my room so you should change your location according to like how you are able to feel and how you are able to study for the third point i will say that there have been times when i have wanted to isolate myself and study where no one is or sometimes when i like didn't feel like studying alone i used to study with my friends so it's all up to you how you feel like studying if you feel comfortable studying alone you should do that and if you like to study with friends then you should do that as well but i will say when you're studying with friends just make sure that you are studying and not having fun because there are times when you are having more fun than you are studying with your friends this is not a competitive exam so i would suggest not to try and like compare yourself with your friends marks because it's not worth it and in times like these people are looking for positivity rather than people who are just going to compare themselves with others i will say that try and do as many question as you possibly can while without getting distracted because there have been times in examination hall when i used to get bored after doing 50 and 60 questions so do 200 questions in one go will train your mind to do 200 questions in the final examination without getting distracted for the final examination you should always aim for marks higher than the passing percentage because there are times when like you will not get what you have aimed for and you will get only less than what you have aimed so it is better to like prepare yourself for marks higher than that well as much important as it is to study it is important that you take timely breaks that after doing some certain number of questions you give yourself a break either cook food or do whatever you like to do but prioritize your study and like breaks are important in order for your mind to refresh and like that will also give your mind a different perspective to think so always do that do not forget taking breaks well i will say that finally understand what works for you and what doesn't meaning like the more question papers you give the more seriously question papers you will give you will understand that uh, like what are certain things which have like negative impact on your marks and what are things which like bring out more marks in your question paper like i understood that sleeping less or like if i haven't eaten well then that used to impact my thought process so like this so like this you will learn different things about yourself what works for you what doesn't what distracts you and what doesn't and it will be only when you give 
question paper seriously because then only you will be like you will feel the pressure and the stress from the actual examination and that will bring out the most from you so i will suggest do as many questions as possible and do them seriously do not take it lightly like this examination is not so hard but it's not something to be taken lightly as well well most of the third year is all about crock the subjects you study in third year are not just important for the crop but also the subjects are important for the fmge which you give when you come to india so let's talk about the subjects i had in third year which include general surgery hygiene and ecology medical psychology microbiology immunology and virology all together there is path anatomy or path morphology whatever you call it and also path physiology path anatomy and path physiology are taught in india as pathology which is a really very important subject for fmg there is pharmacology propedeutics of internal medicine and propedeutics of pediatrics propedeutics means they are basic or beginning to the subjects and the main subjects will be in the fourth year also in third year we had radiology social medicine and nursing practice which is similar to what we had in second year which is patient's care for most of the subjects you can study from the books the library provide you and since in third year the crock is the most important so for the important subjects the teacher will provide you with books which will have mcqs if you want to study well some subjects then i can recommend you kd tripathi's book for pharmacology and harsh mohan's book for pathology these are both by indian authors and they are very good book and they will be helpful to you for your future examinations as well i also forgot to tell you about like latin for anatomy which is very important because you are taught latin in first year but it is useful for your crock examination more because in the examination a lot of like uh, english terms are replaced by the latin for anatomy and that's where people get confused so so you should just revise your latin from the first year and if not if you're finding any latin terms in the question papers just try and search them on the internet which will help you well crock is definitely the most important thing in the third year and i would say if you have if you really want to focus your time and energy on something then focus it on crock you need to prioritize your study and that is above everything else your friends and everything will just follow behind only if you study well just focus on your studies and leave everything else to rest right now for at least this year again i hope this video was interesting and if you like the way i did this video then please let me know if this video was better than what i did in the previous videos where i was just talking and you was you just had to see my face because my friends some of my friends told me that i should do something else as well rather than just sitting there and <laughs> showing my face all the time so i try to do something else and i hope it was interesting and i hope i was able to like give the information in a proper way in case if you have any doubt then please ask me and if you have any suggestion also then leave them in the comment sections below or you can text me you can contact me and you can contact me on gmail or you can contact me on instagram i have my contact information in the description box below and you can also check out my profile for other similar videos where i have talked about first year and second year Thank you again for watching this video. Thanks thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to follow my journey as a medical student in Ukraine. We have two more years left right now. I am in 5th year. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support and I will see you in my next video. It was I really had fun while making this video so please let me know how I did and I will see you in my next video. Bye.